Hi there, welcome to another video tutorial. In this segment we will be designing a livestock tracking and health monitoring project using Arduino. This project uses long-range, LoRa, communication to send measured health parameters like body temperature, humidity, atmospheric temperature, the pulse rate of the farm animal to a farmer is displayed on an LCD screen. This project has two parts, the transmitter part and the receiver part. Both of them communicating through LoRa protocol. The receiver has an LCD screen where it will show all the readings as measured by the transmitter. We will all start from scratch, go through the schematic diagram, we will assemble the various components needed for the project design. We will assemble the components based on the schematic diagram and program the design using the Arduino IDE. Then finally, we will test out the project design to see if it is working within the project specifications. The transmitter also comes with a gyroscope that allows us to know the orientation of the livestock animal. If he is sleeping, standing or whatsoever. We also programmed the transmitter to have an extreme range trigger point. Just as we are doing a test of extreme temperature range using this hot glue gun device here. The non-contact temperature sensor will trigger an SMS alert. We tested it with this to know how the system will react when there is very high temperature. If the temperature of the livestock animal goes very high an SMS alert is sent to the farmer that something is wrong. And the farmer can open the text to know the exact location of the livestock since it contains the GPS coordinates of the farm animal. We will like you to subscribe and encourage small creators like us, hit the notification button and share this video if you find it very interesting. Now, let us get to know how this project was designed. You can get a detailed explanation of schematic diagram in the link. In the description below, we explained everything there and you can also download a free copy of the circuit diagram there. We used a rechargeable battery to power the project design for the both the receiver and the transmitter. Now, let us assemble the components and modules needed to complete this project and solder them together. For this project we will be needing the GPS module, the GSM module for SMS notifications and the gyroscope for the state of the farm animal. That is for the transmitter side. On the receiver side, we will be needing the NLCD module, a potentiometer and a rechargeable battery that is rated 3.7 volts. Both the transmitter and the receiver uses an Arduino Nano development board and a pair of LoRa modules for the data transmission. So here now is the transmitter. Okay. So over here you have your GSM module. But yeah. yeah. well, this is the EVB type. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, GSM module, EVB type. EVB. Mm -hmm. EVB type. This one is different from that one that you sent. Okay. You get. Uh, this one is that this one works on 5 volts. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's the same thing 800 that is on top. Mm -hmm. You can put a 5 volt to this one. Mm -hmm. This one is the LoRa. Mm -hmm. okay, but unlike your own, this one, this one here now works on 433 MHz. You know that your own is, is 8, 8 uh, I think, is it 8, 868 MHz. Eh? Okay, so. But this one can travel up to 1000 meters. No, no, sorry, um, 10,000 kilometers in distance. So we've already put the antenna for it. Mm -hmm. okay. Over here, you already know this guy now. It's it's DHT one with, this one is the antenna, yes. This one is your DH11 sensor. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've already sold out the 10k resistor over here. Why you put 10k resistor? Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, why because why? if you don't put a 10k resistor to the DH11, okay. okay. So now here is your microcontroller, which is the brain of the whole project. Yes, yeah, so which is easy to think. So this, 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 this is actually the microcontroller. But when you now put this microcontroller on this board, now it becomes the Arduino development board. Yeah? But this kind of development board is called the Arduino Nano. If you don't have, if you have much problem with it, how smart. So this one is your battery, your 3.3 uh, 3.7 volt battery. Mm -hmm. So you are using this charging module here to charge this battery. As well, collect footage back inside here. You know this, there is your new 6M. Uh, the, uh, the satellite and uh, this is GPS, the GPS, GPS module. So now, if you turn this guy on, over here, now if you go ahead and turn it on, if you turn on the switch now here, mm -hmm. now watch. This one will come on. Mm -hmm. See here, you have sense, your pulse rate sensor will also come on. You get your yes, pulse rate sensor is also come on. Now, this one now start looking for a network. I've already put a, a, a SIM card here. 
okay you get i've already put a sim card here inside so this sim card is supposed to again this is his head tag you know this person that we use in life now but now here's the thing good news about this project is this you see this guy and this one they are competing for current this one is not showing any life now. Once he gets it, like to start blinking every one second. If he can place the satellite location on the right side. But this one now wants to turn on. So the much of the current now is going in. So best is to make sure that this battery is fully charged. I think we'll be using it for some time. So it's possibly why it's not going to charge. That being said now, mm -hmm. right, so once this one starts blinking, every time it has gotten GPS location. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's 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 turn it on. So what happens here is that we'll program this thing, collect this GPS location, mm -hmm. collect. This sensor, collect this sensor, mm -hmm. collect this one too. I get him, collect this one here, and then we we'll send it via this LoRa to this over here, okay. And this one now will display it here, mm -hmm. display it on this the whole sensor will be on the whole it will display it here. That is the job. Then it also has what is it called your potentiometer to value the contrast of this guy, value the contrast of this guy, just to help increase depending on angle that you are. So you can view and see the value. So that's what this potential is. So this is the thing that you can see. It also has the charging mode to charge this one. So here's the switch. So like I was saying something about contrast. If you change this thing, this this this, this box will be changing the color. You get the idea. So basically, what you have here now, everything that you have here now, you have. So everything that you have here now, eh, is to receive okay now but there will be a trigger point where this one will not send a message and not put up that number for the number is sending a message to you okay. so you send me the number so i'll put it inside the question to send the message to the person to get the idea so that's it. now let us move to programming the livestock tracking and health monitoring project designed using arduino ide download free a detailed Arduino code, in the link, in the description below. Then you can power on your Arduino board and upload the various codes needed for each part of the project design. Remember to note the distinction between the transmitter side and the receiver side. And also, you can remove all the modules and even the batteries during programming. Unless you are programming and testing out the functionalities of the modules and components at the same time. Once you are done with the programming of the individual Arduino nano boards on each side of the project. Now, it is time to test out the project to see if each part worked as we programmed and designed it. To test for the extreme cases that will trigger an alert or notification system, we used something that can generate heat just like this glue gun here. The externally connected non-contact temperature sensor would detect the high temperature and trigger the Arduino Nano who would respond by telling the GSM module to send an SMS to the user for the high temperature detected. And once we receive this SMS, we can see it contains the details on the health parameters. And we can click on the GPS coordinates to see where these readings were measured. This, as shown here. Okay, so this is the project. This is your transmitter side. So over here, you see, you can see your um, GPS. It has already has, it has gotten signal, but your GSM module has not gotten signal. It's still blinking every second. Here is your um, gyroscope. Here is your LoRa sensor. Here is your battery, and here is your charging module. This is the this is the switch. It's already turned on over here. Okay. So now you go to the receiver side, um, you can see the readings. So if this guy starts receiving signal, this LED will blink in on like this. But if he does not, so this is for the power, so this is if he starts receiving signal, so if you can see, so you will see it over here, so you see that particular stuff. I will try looking if we can get a Velcro, but we could actually get anyone. So I think that's just that about that. Maybe perhaps um, things will go well later. Alright, so that being said, um, usually what you do, you first of all, you first of all turn on this one. So let me let me turn this off, and let me also turn this off. Alright, so you first of all you turn this one on first. So when you turn it on, you see your sensors are already here at the back. You have your DHT sensor, you have your Osiris sensor, you have your um, non-contact MLX sensor. So we think that this was supposed to be wearable in a way. 
it so you just wear it so this things can be taken um the whole holidays so when you turn it on you give it some time then you go over here and turn this one on so when you turn this one on all of a sudden this one will come on once it start getting signal you see it will start blinking see just like that so please make sure your battery is charged especially from from, from your transmitter side because if it is not blinking every every one second that means there's a problem that battery is actually low there's a lot of modules connected already so you go over there so uh, i've already connected it just to show for the similarity see you see now it has actually gotten the signal and it's all there so that's that all that mm -hmm. enjoy yourself